I'm Beth Anderson, and I'm a teacher at All Good Elementary School, and I also am the Pickle King's mother. So that's special. Today, I'm gonna make for you crackers with cream cheese and special Puma's pickle pepper preserves. So, to make this, I use my special Puma pickled pepper preserves. I'm Puma, that's my grandmother name, and I wanted to contribute to the festival, so I came up with my own recipe. Um, to make this, these preserves, you can use two jars of pretty much any kind of pickles, but I use mostly dill, although I did one day only have a different kind and tried those. Also, some um, pickled jalapenos, and I prefer the Mount Olive ones, but I don't have any right now. So you just put all of that in a blender, and you can do the um, jalapenos any way you want. If you like it really hot, put in more. I probably put about a third of a cup in, um, and three cups of sugar, and you put uh, the, these in the blender and blend it up, and then you put that with the three cups of sugar, in your pot and then put your candy thermometer on it and uh, cook it up to about 240 degrees and once it reaches that temperature then you pour it into whatever jars big jars little jars that you want to pour it into make sure you sterilized your lids put your lid on put the seal on turn it upside down and leave it sitting on your kitchen counter for 10 minutes and then when you turn it back over leave it alone and they will seal themselves up and it's delicious, peppery, hot, pickled jam. After you get your preserves ready, and then you're ready to make your crackers with your cream cheese and this wonderful preserves on top. And by the way, I will have this for sale at the Pickle Festival. So look me up, I'll be close to the Pickle Club booth. So you can find me there for $5 a jar, you can have your own, you won't even have to make it. Mm. But to make this wonderful treat, you have to get some jelly. So you have to pop your lid off because it should be sealed. Then, you spread a little bit of cream cheese on a cracker. Well, I like that. Yeah, it's good, and I've got it on my thumb. <laughs> and put a little bit of dab of the jam on there. Now, because this has not been in the refrigerator, it is not as stiff as it will be. Once you put it in the refrigerator, it'll be a little stiffer and it won't roll off the cream cheese. Another way you could also eat it that's delicious is you can put it on a biscuit with some bacon, and that's really good. Also, a grilled cheese. Spread a little thin layer of this with the cheese on the inside of the grilled cheese, and make it, and it's delicious. All right, so now the moment of truth, we have to try it. And you can either put the whole thing in your mouth or bite it. What are you gonna do? Oh, whole thing. Whole thing. What do you rate it? Well, it's mine, <laughs> so it seems like that's not fair, but about 20 out of 10. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> pretty fair. good. Let me try it. All right. All right, mom. Oh shoot, I just, okay, I my <laughs> finger right out. Okay, here it is. Get a good look. Mm. It's very yummy, I'm gonna try it. Mm. So, what's nice about this, it has the sourness of the pickle, the sweetness from the sugar and jamminess, and the spiciness of the jalapeno. Sour, or cream cheese gives it that nice creamy thing. Mm. 
I give it a, I think you undershot yourself. Okay. 200 out of 10. Woo, that's great. And I, I will it. be offering samples also. Mmm. So. so go down to the Pickle uh, Festival, April 29th, and you can get your very own jar of Puma's Pickle Pepper Preserves. It's a tongue yeah. twister. Mmm. <laughs> Thanks, Puma. Sure.